Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate. And as I said previously, we're going to go back to the Sunwood Isles and kill this Onamazu. I've heard that apparently Bleed is reasonably good. So we're going to be bringing Celia, which is one of our new classes. We'll get into the... Um, we'll get into the backstory of her very shortly but she has 10 accuracy versus bleeding and she does bleed as her base attack so that seems like pretty good uh also that's really nice too unfortunately yeah uh, she does have ignorance she's gonna be leveling up a bit slower but that's not honestly a terrible thing and yeah i paired her with some other uh level ones that we need to level up as well as bagman very excited to utilize bagman um and we'll see how it goes it's not a fight i'm familiar with but i've just heard a few things about it and we'll sort of see what we can get out of it but i think um first of all there's a few things we need to do obviously getting celia's backstory but i asked you guys what you thought about the idea of the puppet theater and the vast majority of you said that i should grab it um so we're gonna we're gonna do that it's only ten thousand um and 170 of these which i think we can get to via trades um so we we have 90 here and then we can get to Go all the way up to 45. So that's 90 plus 66, which will give us 156. Plus these will give us 100 and... 156, 170, 180 something. And then we got the portraits. And I think it's 190, is it? 170 okay so we can we can definitely do this so let's go trading first of all let's do our busts it is a lot of cost but it should help us out a ton overall so we go here first grab another one another few of those and then we go here and we go we need 170 so plus 15 there you go beautiful and we can come in here and we get our first district, which is pretty awesome. The Puppet Theatre. Idle stress relief in town is increased by 15, which means that everyone each week is going to be removing 20 stress, which is honestly absolutely huge, especially as our roster grows in size. It's going to be massively beneficial to us. Uh, and it is a very, very steep cost, I realize, um, especially when we're trying to get our blacksmith upgrades eventually but i think it's a sacrifice we're willing to make for now to ease our stress relief issues because we are having an ongoing battle with costs in the abbey in the tavern because we're um needing to stress relieve so much but anyways let's get back into the backstory here of um celia who is our werewolf of course a very very cool class indeed this is a backstory by dr savage junkie um so let's get into it Jewelry and fineries by day, a red haze and tearing flesh by night. Ever since being scratched by that accursed thing, all Celia has known is the double life she'd been forced to live. The pressures of her daily life of a high society noble only compounded with the bloodlust lurking just beneath her skin. The monster growled in the back of her mind as she forced a smile towards another egotistical diplomat and a fat man noble. One day, they all, um, one day, they'll all be little more than red stains on the walls of their fan, um, fanciful galas and gilded carriages. How she craved to get away. Her only reprise from this high society nightmare came during the nights, preying on wayward travellers and helpless animals in the grounds of her parents' estate and the dense forest surrounding the roads of her city. Maybe this is who you are, the beast growls at her every so often. Maybe it was right. She needed a place which can be herself by day and by night. And maybe the crazy old man with his rickety cart loading up on supplies could take her to that place. The only way to know is to ask. With a heavy coin purse in her hand and a threat on the back of her tongue in case gold was not enough to gain her passage to whatever wild untamed place this strange man was no doubt heading. Wherever it was, it had to be better than being trapped behind gold walls and ivory towers absolutely love that really 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 cool um backstory there and i think the class is really interesting too a lot of uh repose and transformation um going on and i think that works well with the fact that we've got um 
reposts on Bagman as well as reposts on Blaze. I I'm gambling on because it being a single boss, it's going to do some some like stuff that hits everyone. So I'm, this is just kind of a gamble, and I'll see. We'll also do one backstory before we jump into the episode as well. Um, one backstory, sorry, one diary entry because uh, of course we have a few of those to go. So let's just grab the first one I can find. So here's one by Pen Simmons for Bagman. Na 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 Bagman. Na 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 Bagman. That's how I'm going to announce myself when I get out there. Everyone is looking at me weird. Did I say that out loud as I wrote it down? No, that's crazy. The bar patron just said, yes, it is crazy. I guess I'm talking out loud. Well, I'm going to take my beer and leave. Judgmental people don't deserve my wonderful company. Not you, Eileen, you're a doll. Why did I write that down? The priest said I should keep a journal to maybe help remember things. The bounty hunter guy Koshkin keeps saying he knows me, but it seems way too grumpy for me to hang out with him. And um, he left to kill that siren without me. What a butt face, rude person. I don't know, I don't like him. I have introduced myself to everyone. No one believes Bagman is my name. They keep asking for my real name. And they don't like it when I say na 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 Bagman. And then pose. Well, Eileen likes it. And I think I made Kaya smile. Awalis um, said that he, he was snarling. Said that he was snarling, but to a toothy grin is a smile. Even if a growl comes out. Dismas asked me what the F um, would I, I... Why the F would I go back into those ruins? Rude language aside, I think it's fun. Anyways, I won't get lost a second time, and I left Millie behind. I must save Millie the maggot. Na 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 bag man. Just absolutely love him. He is the most hectic person ever. My god. God damn. Oh, I love it. Just some absolutely hectic energy going on. But yes, let's jump into the Sunwood Isles. Um, I've decided to take Artemis here as we haven't used her much and we need to level her up. And she comes with the ability to cure, blight, and bleed. Which, although her heal isn't particularly strong, mixed with the silver syringe, uh, it could be pretty good. And I'm hoping that the cure, blight, and bleed is, is something that we'll need. Um, we've got the extra HP and disease resist here just in case. Um, we've got the medal of the ancestor, the extra um, extra buffs. Obviously, we do lose some speed for that, and we lose a bit of speed with the life crystal as well. But I'm not particularly worried about speed here. Um, and then we have a lot of speed here. Bear, bear in mind, this is minus two. If we took this off her, um, let's just try that. She'd be at 15 speed, um, plus 10 from a quirk apparently. Plus 10 speed if below 25% of HP. Okay, so that's just an outright lie. Anyways, <laughs> she's going to be pretty useful regardless. I'm really looking forward to jumping out, and I, I'm looking forward to Bagman and his shenanigans. By the way, I do also want to just quickly say that we got the trinket uh, in the last episode, the uh, Metal Highwayman. I actually edited it in the mod itself to make it a Highwayman exclusive trinket, because... I brought it to the table in the Discord and everyone agreed that 40% scouting was way too overpowered to be able to be put on any class. And I don't want to play the game in a way that makes it way too easy. And so I've made it something that's only accessible via the Highwayman, as it is called the Metal Highwayman. The Ancestors one, though, we will be keeping for anyone because you can't play as the Ancestor. Um, but I like the idea. So let's uh, let's jump in and see what we can get done here. Grab some provisions. Um, I, I really don't know what I would need here, I'll be honest. I have absolutely zero idea. I don't think I need food because this is just a boss, but I'll take some anyway. So I think I'll, I'll bring like four of those, four of those, I guess like two of those. I don't think I'll need a key, but I'll take one. <laughs> Holy water we can take for the resists. Um, Loudenum might be useful, so I'll take two. I think torches will still be useful. We'll take eight torches. We do have some minor onomori. I'm also going to bring in some of the um, rudimentary restorative medicines as well. It d does cost me like a grand to bring these with me, but they're just a little bit of backup safety if the healing that Artemis is putting out isn't quite enough. So let's embark on a journey into the Sunward Isles and see what we can find. Because, yeah, I want to do more Sun Sunward Isles missions. I've been missing them. They're, they're, they're really, really fun, uh, really, really interesting. And, yeah, we've not really done many so far, so... I feel like it'd be a good idea to do some of the quests so we can get out there a little more often. Um, just, yeah, like I said, it's really fun. We are ready for the battle. Should we do another diary entry before we go ahead? Probably we should, yeah. We've got one here from Renetta. Uh, that's our shield breaker. I etched their names into the, in, into the inside of my shield. My sisters, my father, my friends. 
all put to the blade by greedy merchants with blood-scythe mercenaries like barbarians with um, un underfed wolves. The medicine woman, Kimber, gave me a journal to help me process my losses. She seems sweet, but this loss is a demon in my soul. No words will appease it, only death. I write down the names of my new companions, the ones here for noble purpose. The knight, the crusader, the healers, the witches, the warriors. They have a path and a purpose. I may not agree with their morals, but they do not sacrifice another for financial gain. They are kin. I do not write down the names of those who revel in death, like the bounty hunter, the leader of that blood circus, and the pit fighter, and the one they call Wraith. They only seek glory and gain, no honour. They are like the beasts who slaughtered my clan. If they ever move to harm my companions, they will feel the venom that courses through my veins just before I sl uh, slide the point of my spear into their screaming mouth. I will pay penance for those I could not save, one monster at a time, whether that is a horror in the ruins or a criminal come to harm us. I see the Surrey clan in every thrust of the spear. I hear the cries in their screams of my victims. For a brief moment, I question these thoughts. Then I see Basilla dance with Nyx by the bonfire. I hear the horns of the approaching caravan. My weapon is ready, and my hand without a thought. No, this is my purpose now. Fantastic writing. Just insane. Okay, so it is straight into a battle. This is just one battle as it is. Um, I guess we'll just clear some stress off of ourselves. It's not a lot, but it's something. Ocean's Wave. Okay, I'm very glad I brought a repressed crew. And also, Torch is um, pretty low here. I'm glad, I bought, um, I'm glad I bought some more torches. It might not be enough, though. I don't know. So we'll set up repressed on everyone first, I think. Because that's going to be super, super valuable. The predatory lunge. Oh, shit, that's a lot of damage. So you're, you're lowering my light with every hit, which is kind of scary. Ooh, unfortunately, we can't activate our repost. Um, oh, no, that just changes to beast mode. We can we can activate it here, I see. Let's do that. There you go. Okay, and I'm guessing that's going to be... Okay, so we did transform into our werewolf here. Good to good. Um, there's the repost there as well. I'm glad I've got that blight um, ability there. We can wind up here to get ourselves some extra damage. And then we can go with the combo state here. Combo smash even, sorry. Another repost hit there. Oh, wait, did, I, that, did using that attack remove my repost? Using that attack might have removed my repost, you know. That's, un that's unfortunate. Okay, i got to remember that. Okay, so we definitely want to cure that Blight and heal a little bit. Honestly, our heals aren't going to be super effective here. It's kind of why I bought these. That Predatory Lunge is really rough. So, with this, we can go Savage Feast. Um, it's going to do... Okay, that's kind of interesting. We don't really need to use that. We can go Headbutt for a Stun. Stun is kind of... Actually, that's a re... that's a fairly decent chance to Stun. Um, or we can just go with more bleed, which is probably pretty effective. I'm going to try for the stun, though, because it's a pretty high chance for us to stun there. We do move ourselves back in doing that. Uh, we'll go for Bellow here. Nice. Go like that. Get my repose going again. Inspiration and improvement. These three are all set up and ready to go. This this thing does have three moves, by the way. I didn't realize that. It's a bit crazy. Transform back. So we're going to be transforming back and forth. Ocean's Wave here. That's done some good repose. Now, this is where I want to be using my... Um, my potions here, I think. Good dodge. All these moves, but that repose... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Lovely. Okay, we can go for a stun here. Well, it's not super reliable, to be honest. Um, we'll go for the hit. Oh, unfortunate. Ocean's oh, Wave coming in again. Glad I bought torches. Right, we'll give you one of these, and we'll heal you up. Then we'll give you one of these. I'll torch up again, actually. We'll get some more bleed on you if we can. I love that attack, it's the animation, that's so cool. 
That lunge coming in again. The stress is really built as well. It's something I didn't expect to be so crazy. Let's say I put a guard on our healer here, just in case. A little bit more healing on ourselves as well. Purse damage is fine, but not, not great. Now, this attack here, 100% crit if enemy's HP is below 25%. That's, that's very nice. <laughs> okay, that's very, very nice. And I didn't exactly need those potions, but I'm glad I brought them. Um, we grabbed ourselves the sisters. Um, this is pretty interesting. Monst monster killed, all monsters bleed. Monster killed, all monsters blight. Ooh, if we get the sisters class coming along soon, that could be really good. Okay, very, very nice quick battle there uh, to start us off. And we also grabbed this as well, which I really like the sound of. Extra accuracy and armor piercing versus marked. Very, very nice. And we do get these two up to level two. Nice. And, ooh, fencing training is so, so nice here. Wow. He has some really good positive quirks. I mean, um, the fact that he has, if we sort by level here... He has plus 10 max HP is kind of crazy, in my opinion. Uh, so let's just quickly check what we've got going on here. Um, we got quick draw, four speed in the first round. He lost 250 gold after becoming tipsy and buying a round for the house. Amazing. Um, we also got a weak grip on life here. Interesting, not particularly terrible. Um, Artemis here, I think we can put you away, so let's unequip everything. Artemis, you can go... Oh, what, what What? are you again? We'll only drink. Okay, okay. Artemis, you can you can take a sip if you'd like. Not perfect, but we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. Um, okay. Do we have a Plague Doctor yet? I don't think we do. Okay, let's take on a Plague Doctor here. I realise there's also a Forsaken here that I, I should probably take, but I'm looking more so for level 2s at this point. Um, but, yeah, I think bringing on a Plague Doctor is a good idea. Um, I think we do have a backstory. Let me just check that. We do indeed have a backstory here. This is Helen Markov, and this is our Plague Doctor backstory by Penn Simmons. We'll get right into it, because why not? Helen's father was a surgeon and a very successful one. He was on the cutting edge of cutting bodies. You would think a young child would be put off by the blood and viscera and constant screams coming from the private surgery room, but it was, an entice, uh, it, it was enticing for Helen and she would sneak in to watch. She studied every cut and such a, and consumed every note and term about surgery and medicine that she could find. Her father, um, vehemently, I, I can't pronounce that word, but anyways, disapproved, but she knew in her heart that she would be a doctor. She would just have to practice in secret. Desperation and back alley treatments made strange bedfellows. Helen had spent most of her life experimenting on herself, animals, and the occasional desperate soul from an abandoned house in the busy sea. When the plague swept across the country, Helen became quite uh, well known for perhaps the wrong reasons. She was called mad for how she would come up with new treatments seemingly on a whim. Her patients would plead for a real doctor, but that only made her more determined. Her numbers weren't the worst of the plague doc uh, weren't the worst of plague doctors. She is the doctor this world deserves. She does not need to make friends. She just wants to help and maybe do some more experiments. The march of science and medicine must go on after all. It is her battle. Very very good stuff there. Uh, let's see what we want to do next here. We've got obviously a lot of options here for where we could go next. Um, Sodden crew. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. So, completely nullifies his ability to stun, but doubles his stress healing and healing, but lowers his damage massively. So, makes him into an off healer. That's really interesting. Uh, we've also got this here. Um, Worry Stone. Interesting. Um, the Dark Wraith stuff there. We've got this here. Two times damage multiplier. Two times multiplier. I don't, two, I don't know multiplier for what. Um, oh, for dodge. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, we've also got ourselves a Forsaken Trinket here. A Vestal Trinket. Um, and we've got another one into the, um, into the Sunward Isles here. And this is, um, for the Runaway. We could do another Sunward Isles missions, to be fair. 
We're, we're pretty round to go. We're, we've got most people up to level 2 now. So let's maybe bring Chaos along with us, and then we'll go with... Um, I'm not sure. Let's bring Dismas along with us. We haven't brought Dismas in a while. Um, we'll put, play him in position 3 and have him doing the Duelist Advance the pistol shot. And... We got point blank in there? Yeah, we do have point blank in there. Point blank's only usable from position one, though. Um, okay, we'll have him there, then. That's fine. And then, healing-wise, probably want to bring Kimber, because she hasn't been out in a little bit, and she'd probably be pretty darn useful here. Um, in fact, she went to the Sunblood Arse last time, so she's going to be a little bit familiar with this area, which is quite nice. And then maybe we can bring Sophie along um, for the ride. I do want to bring out Eileen more uh, to get more of her trinkets going because they're just very, very good. Um, but I also don't want to overplay her. Um, hmm. We could go with um, Delmar here. Delmar's not really a backline player, though. Yeah, let's bring out Sophie. She's only been out once before and she... Uh, We'd like to, her to prove her might a little more here. Um, so let's let's take a little li look at what trinkets we can set everyone up with here. Um, Savage Slay. I'm glad that got locked in. That's very nice. Okay. So we'll um, make sure everyone's got unequipped and we'll sort by class. So first of all, Kimber definitely wants the medicine here. I don't think we have anything that's specific to her. Uh, just check everyone's HP levels. Okay, you definitely want this. The extra HP. Um... We probably want to go with this here to get that bonus damage. And then we could go with damage versus humans, but I don't know exactly how valuable that'll be for us. Um, I doubt we're going to keep him at full HP. Is there anything we can give that just boosts his accuracy a little bit? Five accuracy on melee skills there. That's probably the best thing for us here. Okay, let's go with that. He does have a very low speed now, but that's really not that big of an issue. Um... And then here, of course, we want this. Um, that's going to be very, very useful. And we can pair that with... Honestly, let's pair it with this to just have, like, ridiculous scouting chance. How about that? Uh, Kimber's all done up. And then we've got this here for the bonus accuracy and the move and debuff chance. Mainly just for the accuracy. Everything else is kind of secondary. And I guess we'll go with the snuff as well for a bit more accuracy. In fact, um... In fact, thinking about it, we should probably put the snuff on him because it's plus four accuracy versus plus five. It's not much of a difference. And then here we can go with the disease resist, I guess. Actually, we can go with the um, we can go with the metal. I know lowering our speed here isn't great. I know speed's a very important stat, and I should be looking after it a little more. But we'll give it a go. See how it see how it is. Um, and I think that's a pretty good grouping of people to go out into the Sunward Isles once again. Um, I think we're we're re ready and raring to go. So let's um, let's take a look at what we can do. Jump in, to grab our provisions here. This is a medium mission, right? Yes, it is. Um, so we want to be taking probably 20 food, just in case. Uh, we'll take us four shovels. Yeah, 75% scouting chance. It's just absolutely insane. Um, we'll take ourselves three of these, three of these. Just three of all of these. Um... We can probably take some minor Ernamuris Ern as well. We'll take two Loudenum, or three Loudenum even. Um, and then we'll go with 16 torches, I think, is about right. Yeah, we'll take 16 torches. And then we'll, we'll bring two of the minor Ernamuris with us. We're not going to bring a major. We'll see what we can do with those. Jump out into the Sunward Isles once again. Um, let's grab another diary entry while we're here. Uh, so we have a conversation here. We actually have a few conversation style diary entries, I believe. Um, let me have a little look, see. Yes, we do. Okay, so conversation overheard by the guards patrol. God, what a weirdo. Who's that? I can think of many that fit that description. You mean Bagman? No, Bagman's harmless. It's the shopkeeper that is truly weird. I swear I saw a severed head in his storage. Not even attempt to be hidden. Well... Well, what? It's just kind of part of the town. It barely counts as a day of work if you haven't bagged up a few limbs. Yeah, but I swear it looked at me. Probably just a ghost the shopkeeper is haunted by. I suppose. I just hear people say that he only sells stuff that someone died with. Like he's a grave robber. You have something against grave robbers? You know what I mean. I think you're right. 
I know that you're an asshole and need to stop bothering the shopkeeper. <laughs> yes, mum. You jerk. I did sleep with your dad. <laughs> hey, yeah. Wait, what? I like that sort of stuff. Just a little bit of classic banter between some people. And then, yeah, we have another um, conversation-style diary entry coming up uh, later as well. We can do that while we camp. Let's jump in. I'm excited to see Chaos prevail with this ridiculous amount of damage he can put out. And also, yeah, scouting is going to be pretty much um, natural for us. This is all room battles, actually, isn't it? So let's go back this way first. It doesn't really matter which way we go first, I'll, I'll be honest. I could avoid this, this hallway fight, actually, if I go the other way. So maybe I'll go the other way. I know this is a bit of messing around here, but... No point going for that sort of stuff. We can avoid it. I think Dismas will be best here. Yeah, by far. Very, very nice. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy with this group. I think this group is going to be good. Ooh, we got one of these guys. Nice. Whale of Torment. Glad I brought that Loudenum. Oh, we can clear horror right away here. Aha! Very, very nice. A few bites coming in. The Benthic Whip as well. I've not seen this guy before. This guy's definitely new. Um, an interesting little fellow there. I think we'll go for a strike on him there. Set up that repost. And then Buckshot to finish him, maybe? Yes. Man. Oh, come on, Chaos. I gave you an accuracy buff and everything. I gave you all you needed. A crit heal of 18. What the f- <laughs> What? <laughs> That's obscene. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Wow. What the hell? Try and take you out in the back because we don't want to take too much more stress. Previous exposure. The stress is annoying for Case because he is going to build up a lot of stress, but we have the ability to clear it, so it's not that bad. That's what we're looking for, Chaos. That is what we're looking for. 30% damage up because of that crit as well. Will the Torment coming in again. Definitely want to take it off Chaos first. Unfortunately, there's a body in front, so we can't use our uh, point blank shot. I'm going to do this first and try and lower stress a little bit here. Mainly on Chaos, because he's going to be stressing out like crazy. We'll do Tremors here, which should kill. Closely. Nice. And we do get one of these things here. I think I'll go for it with you. Um, although you've already got quite a lot going on for yourself, so... So do you. Let's do it on you. Celestial Insight. That's good, yeah. Extra accuracy and speed. I like that sort of stuff. Right, we are good to go again, and once again, scouting. Scouting is going to be pretty much a given at every turn. You see why this trinket would have been really overpowered if any class could use it? 40% scouting is absolutely obscene. And we found a map inside as well. Wow. Unfortunately, we can't avoid a battle down here. Like I, was, like I was expecting. It is what it is, though. We'll try and take out the, um, the Kappa first. Nice. Got good heals on Kimber here. We'll go for the Repurst here. And... I'll try and go for this this ghost, actually. Unfortunately, one off the kill. I could gamble on a tremor and try and kill it. Yes! Yes, it was a 1 in 4 chance of hitting the right target, and it did. Also, you are stealth to but repurst. Seize right through it. There's no worry there. Delicious Cucumber is unfortunate, but not terrible. Point blank shot to push us back. Go for him again. Yes, you fool! You fool! How could you be such an idiotic fool? Um, don't really need healing right now. Let's do some more stress relief. Now, this guy could put some bleed on us. A meek rebuttal. That's a stun, right? No, it's just a bleed. Okay. Go for a hit there. There is a bit of prot on this guy, but he is dead now. I cannot remember what we do with this. Nice. An abandoned shrine, perhaps there might be some gold in it. Okay, let's just open it. Nothing. Oh, we do have one of these um, young turtles. I'm just going to call it a turtle. 
I could go for thingy here, but I'm going to go for the double hit with our ranged attacks. Bad across the board. I like the way that this skill is like one to four. It's like it's a party heal, but it has a bit of risk to it. Hey, before we got the uh, repair set up. Very much like that. Another Hit there from Chaos as well. I love his spiked lands. gloves. They're just so brutal. We could, I was just about to say, we could take disease from these guys. They are very disease prone. The worries, I think, is straight up plus 30% stress as well. It's not very nice. But I think... I think her camping ability is remove disease, if I remember correctly, so we're not Executed that with bad for that, to be honest. We'll probably take some extra stress until we camp, but we can get rid of it fairly easily. I think it's a party clear as well. Oh, complete whiff on that click there. My bad. It's okay, though. Gone, fiend. Yeah, let me just check to make sure that is the case. The worries, yeah, plus 30% stress, but also we can go here and remove disease from party. Yeah, that's fine. We also didn't check for... Um, Prevent nighttime ambush, but we do... I was going to say, we do re regularly have it on Dismas, so... Not so bad. Okay. Not so bad at all. Right, keep pushing forward. Go and do this fight. Another map. Literally didn't even matter, because we've already marked out this area. Hopefully we'll find a secret room. I wonder if the secret rooms are any different in, um, in the Sunward Isles. I'm guessing not, but it'd be interesting if they were. Bit of stress there. We did resist the... Uh, of horror. So a bit of damage. Delicious cucumber off the bat. This guy obviously is the biggest problem. Chaos is going to be focusing the hell out of him. But we'll just try and take him out now. Um, heal herself. Kimba's a very, very good healer so far. And that's why we like the repose there. Because now we can go... Actually, let's try and take out the ghost with you. Because of the delicious cucumber could be problematic. And then just... Oh, Chaos, come on. We needed that hit real bad. Unfortunate miss there, because it meant no repost. A good hit on that guy is very nice, actually. And then we can go buckshot to get a kill. Ah, oh, not quite, not quite. This guy does have some prot that I didn't see. Nice dodge there. We're getting seven heals, like, every single time here. It's really nice. Fresh water is a self-heal, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's not so bad. It's a stun. It's not not amazing. I'm going to go for you because you have more health, HP, even though you're more dangerous. But Dismas can easily take you out. You, my love, you're, you're kind of problematic. But, oh, another dodge again. We'll take you out. And I'm hoping Dismas just reposts this guy at some point. I've kind of left him as a bit of an open target. Which I realise is probably a bad idea, but I don't think it's terrible. Party heal there. Yeah, there you go. We got unlucky there. That's what I was looking for. Nice one. Beautiful. Worked out exactly as I'd hoped. Uh, and Tremor again. Because it's random target, but there's only one target left. Tremor's a really, really good move. And a kill there. Lovely. We do have some wood carvings here uh, that, I, that I do kind of want to take. Um... I don't really know what I want to give up, though, to be honest. It's a little tricky. Honestly, the Loudenum, because we have Horror Clear. Yeah, don't know what this does, so I'm going to go again. Okay, we got a Trinket as well. Cleric Errant. Uh, I'm not going to... I don't, I'm not going to ever use that Trinket, so I'm not bothered. Um, let's move back this way. Extra space I don't need to be taking up, really. But yeah, we got to remember that Kimba is actually probably a really good character to save... For outings for diseased parties. We could save ourselves a lot of money by clearing off multiple diseases in one fell swoop by just camping with her on an easy mission. Lost cargo, I'm guessing this requires a key. If nice, we got more of the wood cups as well. The they only stacked to five, okay. Corruption. Get rid of the herbs, maybe. I'm sure I'm gonna come to regret that, but hey her. Yeah, next fight here. Hunger check is fine. The light, and the ooh, this is rough. Especially with this guy in the back, this is really rough. Oh lord. We're going to have to go for this guy again. We're not going to get the kill here though. That wasn't enough damage. Go for this. Top everyone off. This is going to be pretty bad. Oh, good miss though. Ah, I got it off. I, I knew he was going to get it off, but... I still got to kill him, though, because he can re-up that. 
Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I'm going to go with Animosity here, which um, is a little scary because it does mean that we gain extra stress. But the repurse should be pretty damn good, especially once Dismas gets his repurse up as well. I think both of them having that ready to go is going to be pretty uh, important. Go there. That repurse is a bit annoying, but here you go. Right, we'll go for the kill on this guy so he can't repurse anymore. And then us two have both got repurse up, which is lovely. Go for a party heal again. Three's fine. And unfortunately, the repurse on this guy doesn't do it quite as much, but it does bleed. So the damage itself isn't as bad. Unfortunately, we lose our ability to heal here. Would have liked to clear that bleed. And do it with a bandage, though. And yes, 19 damage to take you out in one fell swoop. I gotta love that. Might have a demon. More bleed coming in. Yeah, like, like I said, I'd, I'd be able to remove that bleed if it wasn't for that. Let's start removing some stress here, because stress is kind of climbing away from us now. Point blank shot. Gets the kill. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Very nice. More wood carvings. We have a lot of those. Also, I very much like crests. I'm going to get rid of the last bandage. Okay, not ideal, I'll be honest. Back is empty. Yeah, not ideal, I'll be honest. Um, I would have liked to heal a little bit before the end of that fight, but it's fine. Here's our scouting once again. We're going to have to go this way to check if this last room has anything. Ooh, what the hell are these things? There are some new enemies here that I have not seen before. That's a five heal across the board. That is what we needed. Yeah, never seen these enemies before. These are new to me, so... fine. Actually, that's not fine. A little annoyed at that, to be honest. Could have set up a repurse there, and it just said no. So, that's going to do Blight. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Try and get you down with that prop. I'm going to go with Animosity again here. The extra stress is, is scary, but we're able to sort of offset it right now, and the repurse is proving to be very useful on, on both these guys. We really need a trinket that, that buffs repurse. That'd be really, really nice. You're probably going to die now. Oh, no, not quite. Unfortunate. Filthy hide. 4% chance of disease when hit. Ooh, rough. Don't like that. Well, like I said, we can remove disease if that happens. So it's not terrible. You have chosen poorly, good sir. You are dead now. You do filthy hide as well. What else did it say? 10% chance on blight skill. Okay. Uh, let's go with a, a single heal here. And again, let's go for this. Didn't work out, but it's fine. Nerve in contact. Just, just about to say, should kill. And it does. Beautiful. Five across the board again is lovely. We're staying relatively in good health here. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. We want to keep one key in case we find a secret room. Dude, we are getting so much stuff right now. I'll chuck away some money for that. And then wood carving. Anti-venom, I'm sorry. I realize I brought you for no reason now, but... As the light gains we could get purchase, more wood carvings based on how things have been going this far. And purpose is made clear. Easy disarm there for the stress relief. Unfortunately, on the character that has the least stress of everyone... Wealth it's beyond difficult. measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. This tree behind me is interesting. I've not seen this as a curio before. Um I'm gonna do a stress heal here. It's only six, but it gets him down to a more reasonable level. Because each time he takes damage, he takes on a bit of stress. Um we'll try and kill the cucumber fella quickly. Okay, he did vicious assault first, that's good. I'd rather do, do that than regen. Because we can maim him and Hopefully, pretty much insta-kill him, and then we can set up repurses after that point. Wow, they are really hounding Chaos right now. Okay. It's getting a little much, guys. It's getting a little much. At least he gets the kill. Bit of stress relief on top of that, too. Yeah, Chaos could be in a bad spot here. Luckily, that enemy, worst thing you could possibly hit there. Nev in contact does very little damage. He's going to get put on death's door here, isn't he? 
That's a fucking chunky, chunky hit there. Nah, we're good. Um, seven? Yes. Seven still isn't a lot, though. We still puts us in a bad spot. We'll definitely take out you and that crit. Sophie, wow. Impressive stuff. I'm gonna go with a maim there. Ooh, hello. Success. Something new. Okay, so there's so indeed. much going on right now. Um, is it merely a trick of the light? I would like to bring the portrait back as well, I'll be honest, but I'm gonna leave it. So what the hell's this? The branches are moving despite the absence of wind, how peculiar. Now this could be awful, but I'm gonna touch it. Okay. We weren't ready. We were not ready for this. Holy hell, this is bad. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be a boss fight. Oh lord. Let's mark you. Crit's received as well. I like that. Oh, you're really going to have to go for him. He's already on low HP. Come on now. At least we resisted the stun there. We probably should have set up repairs there, to be honest. But the extra stress could end up being terrible. So, I don't know. Bloom. I don't know what any of this is. So I'm very scared right now. Um, it's, it's, it's all going to be a bit much, I think. I mean, we're doing good damage. We're not taking a lot of damage ourselves either. I'm just a little worried about KS's HP currently being... So damn low. The extra damage versus marked offsets the protection. Beat down. Stun wise, pretty low chance. I, I, I'm gonna just, I'm just, I'm gonna just hit because I don't think I can take the extra stress. I do have two stress relieving moves, but I want to be using damage. Thank God we're resisting these stuns. I'll be honest. Extra damage versus marked. Oh, you're not marked anymore. Damn it. It's because you got two moves, that's why. Should probably just not bother with the mark, to be honest. Although, that damage was pretty pathetic, so maybe we want to be going with it. Yes, six across the board. That's the highest we've seen so far. That's super, super necessary. There's our first blight. Nice. I'm curious to see what we get out of this. Like I said, I really wasn't expecting it. Oh, Lord. The tree is made of flesh and it has repulsed now. I am scared. <laughs> A singular strike. Okay. Oh, he, lo he lost his prop though. Interesting. 18 heal again. Wow, could have used that on Chaos earlier, but there you go. Now, the repost seems to just be a bit of stress and damage. It's no status effects, which is better. Bloom. Okay. It's blight across the board. We do have the ability to remove Blight if need be. We unfortunately got rid of our... Uh... Oh, that is, that is one of the most critical strikes you could have possibly put forward there, Chaos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now that is going to hurt. Oh, that healed him for 20? Shit me. Okay, at least we got rid of that 20 pretty much straight away there. 29. Okay. That was scary, and we out of it we got this. Um, creatures can be felled; they can be beaten. Honestly, that's kind of terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, that's actually awful. I will never use that. You get plus seventy percent damage if torches below twenty-five, and minus seventy if torches above that. I, I guess I'll take it to sell, but I'm not I'm not really happy about that at all. I'll be honest. That that is a very trash uh, <laughs> trinket to get. Um, I think we are just ready to leave, you know. But I think I should camp first. A spark just to lower that stress and stuff. Um, without hope. Let's go. Nighttime ambush. Remove disease. And then remove some of that stress. Okay, rest. Good, good. Yeah, that's like a really, real like, minus three speed and ten accuracy is so bad as the negatives. And yeah, only being able to use it below 25, I will never use that, unfortunately. That is, that is a big sad. But that was a really cool boss there that I did not intend to fight and did not, uh... 
thoroughly understand. I'd never, I'd never seen that boss before. Got a runaway trinket there. Everyone's up to level two. Surfy even up to level three already. We're already getting to the point where we need to buy our upgrades for level three because that's going to get a little out of hand soon. A fresh irritant. Look at all that stress relief. Do you see that? Look at our stress across the board now. It's just... The puppet theater, while very expensive, was so very good for us. Um, ooh, okay. This is really tricky. We have a lot of good stuff here. Falconer is pretty great because she is a backline attacker and we, we desperately need those. Um, we've been doing without those for a while. The Burgateer is a potential off healer and just a really good dude. <laughs> I like this class a lot. The Forlorn is a really cool class that has a backstory that I very much want to get into. Probably go with this. Yeah, really cool bleed sort of centric class that I really want to get into. The Shield Maiden is an interesting one who basically can do some interesting healing stuff. Um... And then the Runaway is a class I've been waiting for for quite a while as well. Honestly, there's just, like, a lot to look at here. Um, I know that we're getting to the point where we have very few level 1s, but I'm going to take on the Forlorn. Um, just because I think the Forlorn could be good. Falconer. I'm very tempted by the Falconer, but I'm going to leave her for now. If you want me to take her next episode, let me know, and I'll think about it. Um... Vigilante, um, look what we got here. Right, let's just quickly unequip and resort. And we'll just check this to see if any anything happened in the bar. She did get double vision, unfortunately. Um, gaining some accuracy debuffs. The one thing I dislike about this, like, I've got a mod that makes it so that you get quirks more often from from um, stairs in the tavern and stuff, which I really like. I like the idea of. The one thing it does mean, though, is that we're going to have to be more careful about... Um... Oh, wait, what? Oh... Wait a minute. This experience a double vision. Is that just like a one-time thing? It might be that that's just like a one-time thing, you know. Yes, yeah, so and that says new quirk. That says new quirk. But that just says is experiencing double vision. Ah, that's re- Okay, doesn't matter. Forget what I just said. That's really, really cool. Right, let's get into our last diary entry for the episode here um, before we end off the episode. Um, silent camaraderie. The tavern sits in unusual near silence. A dozen eager ears pressed against the walls and windows, hoping to catch a listen. Two normally stoic and stony men have seemingly formed a rapport over drinks and a common interest. They move a table out uh, to a table outside. They've moved a table outside, preferring the relative quiet of the street to the noise inside the bar. Group of assassins. Has has Hasashi? I always forget how to pronounce this. As she begins the trade-off, offering a bloodied shinobi mask for Koshkin to inspect and return. Noble nine-armed guards, Koshkin retorts, laying a gilded crest on the bar. Rogue samurai, fought there even. A wak a wakazashi, trimmed golden dragon on the sheath. I cannot pronounce any of this, by the way. If you do anything that's like Asian culture, I am just lost. Um, Stry Strigurgi? Tongue I cut off when it, uh, latched me. A dried tongue placed in the bar, ending in an open toothed maw on one side. Hazashi runs a glove, um, a gloved finger over it, gently so not to ruin it, before placing his own greatest trophy on the bar. A small glass box with a blazing red soul inside it, bashing maddenly against the sides. Ernie captured its soul when it wanted mine. The mercenary lets out a long whistle gathers up his treasure and says, Demon, huh? No easy feat. Hasashi fills up a cup um, from a flask in his pouch. Amazaki, non-alcoholic sweet drink from my homeland. Koshkin sat, uh, sat for a moment, staring at the drink before uttering a few words. Death is a business. You take no coin, yet you kill. Waste of time to me. Hasashi nodded, 
impressed by unsurprise, uh, impressed but unsurprised at the other man's knowledge of his people's art. No doubt he's a tra uh, traveled as he is experienced. Opting to change the subject again, the Easterner thought back to before the departure. Sackman, friend of yours? Business of mine, not my problem anymore. Another nod from Hashi as he returns to his drink, ready to fall into the pleasant silence of the respected company. So that is a really cool co-written um, diary entry between our Wraith and our bounty hunter. Because these two went on a mission together. And they're two very similar souls. Although Koshkin is very much about the business of death. And Hashishi is more about the death itself. Either way I think those two made, made a good bond. And it was cool to see a diary entry with the two of them. Either way I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.